time to Los Angeles and the local time is 5 past 4 in the afternoon. Hi, I'm Lou. I just landed in Los Angeles and I'm heading to Outsize Baggage to see if my bike has made it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Got the truck from the car hire place. While we were waiting for it, I had a little peek in the bike box and it looks all good. I don't want to speak too soon and jinx it, but I don't think TSA opened it this time. There was no love letter that's normally in there and nothing seems to have moved. So I'm hoping we've survived the journey. Once I'm in the hotel, I'll open it up and have a peek. Ooh. My bike's fine, fully built, ready to go for a ride in the morning, but now it's time to go to sleep. Well, good morning from Los Angeles. I'm heading down to Santa Monica to meet up with a couple of lovely people. It's not warm. It's about seven degrees, so I'm glad I've got all my winter kit with me. But it feels great to be out on my bike. I've got a lovely bike lane here all the way down to the coast, and I'm feeling good. Jet lag, absolutely kicking my butt. We'll ignore that for now, though. Oh, hi, Lucy. Hey. Where have you brought me? Climb. It's a massive hill. I've been looking forward to riding out my bike for so long and I'm dying, but it's nice to be out. <laughs> and then the sand's going to be amazing. Yeah. It's so fun. There's a lot of water. Look at this, it's like a river. We made it to the gate. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> I think. You're thanking me. No problem. Oh, wow. So now it's downhill all the way. So good to be riding outside again. So good to be in LA. Had a really good time riding with Lucy. And then went to meet Ananda for some coffee. Now heading back to my hotel. I've been riding for almost a couple of hours. I can definitely feel it in my legs. I'm tired, but feels great. So I'll catch you later. Thankfully my Wahoo lasted the ride but has decided to go into some weird mode as I'm trying to upload. It's the next day. Welcome to more jet lag hell. Actually it's not too bad. Went out for dinner last night with Kate from Swift and feeling good. So I'm out on a little touristy trail today. There's a sign behind me which you might be able to see. I'll get nearer to it in the next few days so don't worry about it for today. I've ridden through Beverly Hills, which was rather nice, and I'm now heading to Hollywood.
storm coming, so I need to put my phone away and get out of here because this is crazy. I'm just gonna struggle to stay upright with this much wind. Feels like it's snowing, but it's not that cold. off the road to shelter from the wind and it's hailing okay the sun's come out again so I might try and head along Santa Monica Boulevard which is the old Route 66 but I am um, I do not want to come a cropper <laughs> because it is so windy having a little walk along the stars see who I can see oh Michael J Fox one of my favorites I'm going to attempt to ride again now though so I came along from Hollywood to sunset the storm is circling around again I nearly came off my bike at this spot In the 90s, like I was, you'll have heard of this place because it's where River Phoenix died. I do not want to die here, so I'm off my bike again for another couple of minutes until the wind dies down. This is crazy. Blue sky here. I'm going to head from the Viper Room on Sunset down to Santa Monica Boulevard, which is the old Route 66. Hopefully, I won't get blown off again. I made it. This spot marks the end of the old Route 66. I had a good time coming down it just then. I had a tailwind down Santa Monica Boulevard, so I was flying. This spot also marks the end of my ride. I'm relieved to say I survived. Oh my God, it was touch and go there. Some of those gusts of wind were ridiculous. And this will be the end of this video. I'll make another couple of videos while I'm here in LA, but for now, it's goodbye from me and I will see you soon.